What's up guys, Hot Noob here, and in the previous two videos we went over importing libraries and um, going over multi-threading. And in this video, well, we're going to be doing um, HTTP requests. And you may be thinking, well, what the fuck does th do those previous videos have to do with this? Well, in um, newer versions of Android, the HTTP requests have to be in a different thread. It can't be in the UI thread, which is the main thread and pretty much what sh if you're a newbie, you're probably going to do be doing all your processing in the UI thread, but that's what we're trying to avoid here. Anywho, um, I'm just going to be a bit lazy here and just say new thread, like so. And then at the end here, I'm just going to say dot start. And what this is, go is going to do is going to run um, the public uh, void run. And it's just going to run that in its own little thread. And then immediately once that is uh, finished running, it will get rid of the thread. And this is just because um, we're doing it for testing purposes. So let's start off by creating a URL. Let's call this my URL equals new. URL. And I'm just going to make this google.ca yeti. Um, also going to do HTTP, HTTP URL connection. Call this connection. I'm going to say this is going to equal to null, like so. And you'll see why in a second. Then I'm going to open up a try statement, catch, and we're going to do the malformed URL exception. As you can see here, it says uh, uncat handled exception, so that's what we're creating this one for, ex. And just for the hell of it, log dot e, put in our tag. Um, uh, invalid URL. And let's go ex. Okay. And, but, uh, yeah, let's continue on there. Then we're going to take this connection variable that we created, and we're going to say equals my URL dot open connection. And so we need to cast it as uh, HTTP URL connection, like so. Oh, maybe we don't. Sorry, I misread that little thing. Um, I'm going to do catch IO exception. Maybe you don't need to cast it. We'll see in a sec. I haven't done this often dot e put our tag um, connection I don't know fuck it just called I L O slash connection error I go E X right there and what I got here yep incompatible type so I was right you gotta put the cast in there so cast it to HTTP URL connection and then we need one more thing, which is the finally, and this is so that we don't have any open connections left over. So we do uh, if connection equals null, and the reason why we have to do this is because um, if for some odd reason it doesn't make it past this point, then uh, it won't be the find, and then we say equals null just to get rid of a bunch of error crap. So connection dot disconnect if it doesn't equal null. Sorry about that and uh, that will just disconnect it if it's already made the connection and there is yeah whenever it's done or if there was uh, an error or whatever anywho moving on uh... we're gonna do input stream there you are call this i stream just to be all apply equals connection dot get input stream that's like all there is to it um, now we need to get the stuff from the input stream, and this is where the last video comes in, and we're going to be using um, that library that I s showed you guys about, which is Commons IO. Uh, you guys can get that from Apache's website, so uh, Apache, here we are. So commons.apache.org slash proper, etc. You guys can pause the video and get it from there. And um, just download one of these two binaries. You get the idea. Anywho, moving on. Um, go IO util and two string um, I string. 
Oops. Come back here. I stream. There we are. And just for the hell of it, string response equals like so. And we are going to display the output somehow. I'm not going to do it for the login because that's a little boring, so I'm just going to pull out the camera. So, uh, let's see, text view. Um, let's call this final text view. Okay, F view equals, um, I'm going to have to do a cast to a text view. Find view by ID r dot id and I'm still using the same uh, freaking IDs okay uh, and then we need to do uh, f view dot post new run a oh come on <sighs> new no sorry new run there we are capital R is the trick can't do it in lowercase because uh, I don't know they fail a little bit I'm just going to get rid of that gay Java formatting there. And then we just go fu.setText. And um, uh, response. Ah, can't spell. Let's use that. Change to. Oh, come on. Response. There we go. There, I fixed it before you guys could. Uh, oh, sorry about that. We need to make the response final. So I knew there was a reason for putting it in into a variable. Just uh, didn't understand my subconscious. So there we go. F response. And. Would run. Blah, blah, blah. Looks good. That's pretty much th it. Um, let's test it out. Hopefully, I didn't make any mistakes. So I'm just gonna go like so. Look at my camera wherever it went. Up. Uh, takes a while to build. Okay. Uh, okay. Go and oh, there we go. We got a uh, response and whatever Google sent us. Ta da! So, yeah, that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I'll think of something or something will come up that I'll figure you guys will probably want to know how to do in the future as I am slowly learning this language. And sadly, starting to like it, but I mean, at the same time, it's dreadful. <laughs> but uh, that's how I am with like pretty much every language, with the exception of C sharp, because C sharp is awesome. All right, see you guys later.